This audio program has been produced by PUB Samuko. Actual test 5. Listening test. In the listening test, you will be asked to demonstrate how well you understand spoken English. The entire listening test will last approximately 45 minutes. There are four parts, and directions are given for each part. You must mark your answers on the separate answer sheet. Do not write your answers in your test book. Part 1. Directions. For each question in this part, you will hear four statements about a picture in your test book. When you hear the statements, you must select the one statement that best describes what you see in the picture. Then, find the number of the question on your answer sheet and mark your answer. The statements will not be printed in your test book and will be spoken only one time. Look at the example item below. Now listen to the four statements. A. Some people are paddling through the water. B. Some people are crossing the bridge. C. Some people are walking along the shoreline. D. Some people are camping in the forest. Statement A. Some people are paddling through the water. Is the best description of the picture. So, you should select answer A and mark it on your answer sheet. Now part one will begin. Number one, look at the picture marked number one in your test book. A. The man is taking out his mobile phone. B. The man is looking at his watch. C. The man is typing on the computer. D. The man is taking notes. Number two, look at the picture marked number two in your test book. A. He is getting some food. B. He is paying at a cash register. C. He is holding a plate. D. He is pouring water into a glass. Go on to the next page. Number 3. Look at the picture marked number 3 in your test book. A. Some paintings are put on top of the desk. B. A woman is reaching at the hammer. C. Some pictures are being hung on the wall. D. A woman is walking up some steps. Number 4. Look at the picture marked number 4 in your test book. A. Some people are standing near a railing. B. Some people are walking on the floor. C. A woman is looking at her wristwatch. D. A man is talking to his mobile phone. Number 5. Look at the picture marked number 5 in your test book. A. A woman is wiping a table with a cloth. B. A woman is stacking folded napkins. C. Some plates are occupied. D. Some chairs are arranged in the room. Number 6. Look at the picture marked number 6 in your test book. A. The man is installing a shelf divider. B. The man is taking down the panel. C. The man is assembling the electronic drill. D. The man is working with sawing machine. Go on to the next page. Part 2. Directions. You will hear a question or statement and three responses spoken in English. They will not be printed in your test book and will be spoken only one time. Select the best response to the question or statement and mark the letter A, B, or C on your answer sheet. Now let us begin with question number 7. Number 7. Your vehicle sounds much quieter than before, doesn't it? A. Yes, I had the muffler fixed. B. I can be quite enough. C. That sounds like fun. Number 8. Ms. Heather isn't really going to quit her job. A. The meeting is going to start tomorrow. B. 
It's about time to use the quick service. C. That was ages ago. Number nine. Do you know where this music is coming from? A. I know the musicians. B. Yes, there is a radio in Baron's office. C. It's very exciting to listen to. Number 10. Why haven't you responded to Grand's email yet? A. I have to check something first. B. My response is very beneficial to her. C. She has a lot of email addresses. Number 11. Who drove your employee home from his office? A. He wasn't able to move his house. B. He got a ride with a friend of his. C. My employer is satisfied with it. Number 12. Have sales at least been keeping pace with last month? A. The sale is still ongoing. B. At last, we can finish it. C. You are right, but we should find out. Number 13. When did this construction begin? A. I believe it was a month ago. B. To construct a bridge. C. It's north of the city. Number 14. What do you think this soup is missing? A. Report the card missing. B. It's too cold. C. It needs more pepper. Number 15. Where will the reception be held this year? A. Upon the receipt of your order. B. How about Hollywood Holiday Inn, like last year? C. The second Friday in July is fine with me. Number 16. Were you supposed to write the article, or was it Mr. Kirk? A. She was supposed to help your clients. B. It's an interesting written expression. C. It was assigned to Miss Courtney. Number 17. Why haven't you asked Mr. Sandler to come to the company's picnic? A. Because it began to rain, we called off the picnic. B. I don't feel like I know him well enough to invite him. C. I must wear casual. Number 18. Who is Miss Campbell talking to out in the lobby? A. The new accountant just hired in the company. B. She just didn't talk a lot. C. We have maps in the main lobby. Number 19. Have you seen my catalog? A. I want to have a copy of your catalog. B. I'll check my schedule and get back to you. C. No, the last time I looked at it, you had it. Number 20. When are you going to pick me up? A. It's right across from this building. B. I'll stop by at 8 o'clock. C. Pick up the phone. It's for you. Number 21. How much does it cost to rent a five-story house across the station? A. I'm waiting to hear. B. There is a room on the ground floor. C. It is stationary, but not removable. Number 22. What's the purpose of doing all this work if it's going to be cancelled anyway? A. I didn't do it on purpose. B. I'd rather not cancel the order. C. In the long run, the exercise of doing it will be valuable. Number 23. 
You're going to visit Jake in the hospital this week, aren't you? Oh, I'm very grateful for your hospitality. B. I'm planning to, if I have time. C. He tried to cure his child. Number 24. Where did Miss Smith go with the laptop? A. She took it away to be fixed. B. She will be back in 30 minutes. C. We have five desktop computers in our office. Number 25. Why hasn't Mr. Svensson made up his mind on the deal yet? A. He's still reviewing financing options. B. Please, let me make up for it. C. You don't mind it at all. Number 26. Who were you with at the stadium last weekend? A. Last night at the baseball game. B. My colleague, Nick Cliff. C. The crowd is leaving the sports stadium. Number 27. Do you know where the key to Jimmy's office is? A. This is a sort of solution. B. He usually leaves everything on his desk. C. I'll show you to his office. This way. Number 28. When was the last time you heard from Ms. Tracy? A. I hear you've been offered a job. B. In the first workshop. C. It's been over a week now. Number 29. What will the topic of the conference be tomorrow? A. While you confer, I can do it. B. Sometime this week. C. Mr. Weidman is going to talk about the marketing strategy. Number 30. You're going to play tennis this Sunday, aren't you? A. I like watching baseball games on TV during the weekend. B. I left my rackets in my car. C. No, I decided to play golf with Miss Pearl. Number 31. Where am I supposed to put this bicycle? A. He is planning to travel by motorcycle. B. Over there in the parking lot. C. After riding his bicycle. Part 3. Directions. You will hear some conversations between two or more people. You will be asked to answer three questions about what the speakers say in each conversation. Select the best response to each question and mark the letter A, B, C, or D on your answer sheet. The conversations will not be printed in your test book and will be spoken only one time. Questions 32 through 34 refer to the following conversation. Ms. Dustin, do you think you can find time to discuss the schedule for hiring the web designers? Yes, let's do that now. I'll be in my office until next Friday. Then, I have to fly to San Jose for the Internet Technology Convention. Is it possible to conduct interviews next Wednesday or Thursday while I'm here? I have to leave for New Zealand next Wednesday, so I can't make it then. Why don't we do the interviews this Friday? We should hurry and hire someone as soon as possible. We got some complaints from the clients that our website looks outdated. Number 32. What is the main topic of the conversation? Number 33. What will happen this Friday? Number 34. What are some clients complaining about? Questions 35 through 37 refer to the following conversation. Bobby, it's already lunchtime. What are you doing? Lucas and I are going to the cafeteria. Do you want to go with us? No, thanks, Grant. I think I'll just have lunch later. I still have loads of things to do. 
This report is due tomorrow, and I haven't even finished half of it. On second thought, would it be good if you and Lucas join me and have lunch here on my desk? I can research some of the materials I need while eating. Why, sure. You don't have to get up. I'll get you something to eat. What are you in the mood for? Get me anything but burgers. I've had enough junk food for the week. Thanks. Number 35. Why can't the woman go to eat lunch? Number 36. What does the man suggest the woman to do? Number 37. What will the speakers do next? Questions 38 through 40 refer to the following conversation. Hello, Ms. Hollis. I would just like to ask when we should submit the proposal for DuPont to you. On Friday or on Monday? I'd like to have it on Friday, but if you think you'll need more time to finish it, then Monday will be fine. But you have to make sure that the document is on my desk by Monday at 9 o'clock in the morning, all right? That way I'll have enough time to edit and revise it. As you know, we will be presenting the proposal on Wednesday or Thursday. In fact, we are already finished with the draft. If you want, we can give it to you now so you can give us your feedback. Then we'll revise it and submit it to you on Monday. What do you think? That sounds great, Tommy. Thank you. Number 38. By when should the final copy of the proposal be submitted? Number 39. What will the man forward the woman now? Number 40. Why does the man say, you can give us your feedback? Questions 41 through 43 refer to the following conversation. Good morning, Ms. Dion. I really need to make an important call. Would you mind if I plug my mobile phone into that outlet beside your chair? My battery's almost dead. I'm afraid this outlet is busted. I already called Wendell for technical services several times, but she still hasn't come. I can lend you my phone if you really need to call someone. Are you sure? That wouldn't be too much trouble? I'll make sure that I won't take long when I call Sherman. No problem, Victor. I understand. These kinds of situations have happened to me, too. Number 41. What problem does the man mention? Number 42. Who was supposed to repair the outlet? Number 43. Why does the woman understand the man's situation? Go on to the next page. Questions 44 through 46 refer to the following conversation. Is Mr. Tyson around? A package from the main office just arrived. I think he needs to sign for it. He hasn't returned from Boston since yesterday. He went there to meet some of our suppliers. I think it's better if you ask his secretary to receive the parcel. He won't be here until tomorrow. His secretary's name is Erin Reed. I think she's in the conference room now. Thanks for your kindness. I'll go look for her now. You need to hurry. I think she'll only stay there until noon, because she's going on a business trip to Detroit, and it's already quarter past eleven. Number 44. Who sent the package? Number 45. According to the woman, where can the man find Mr. Tyson's secretary? Number 46. Why does the man need to find Aaron Reed before 12 o'clock p.m.?
Questions 47 through 49 refer to the following conversation. Our building lobby has been repaired and redecorated. Have you seen the changes they made? Yes, I saw the security camera, the new window, and so on. Actually, I was very impressed. I also like how they repaired the air conditioning system and the way they repainted the floor. It's nice. It would have been better if they had used gold and red paint instead of blue. It would have been more elegant. The colors are excellent. The lobby looks more comfortable now. Repainting it with gold and red would make it look boring. Number 47. What was changed at the building lobby? Number 48. How does the woman think about the improvements? Number 49. Why does the man prefer the new paint? Questions 50 through 52 refer to the following conversation. I'm really worried about my interview this afternoon. I don't have any experience as a salesperson. What if they ask me a lot of questions I don't know how to answer? Don't worry. Today's interview is for an entry-level position. They don't expect you to have much experience yet. You have positive references from your university professors, and your excellent grades show that you know how to work hard. Also, the Stock Investment Contest Awards will help you. You're right, I guess. I'm probably worried for no reason. Even if I don't get off of this position, I have three more interviews next week. I believe you will pass. Good luck. Number 50. What will the woman do this afternoon? Number 51. What does the man think the woman to lack? Number 52. What does the woman mean when she says, I'm probably worried for no reason? Questions 53 through 55 refer to the following conversation. I've been confirming the flight arrival times online. Mr. Martin's flight isn't going to get in on time. Is he going to make it to the 5 o'clock meeting? It's difficult to think he will. I'll make a summary of the meeting and send it to him by email later. He must be really tired from the long flight. I'll have him submit his travel report tomorrow rather than today. That way, he can take the rest of the day off. Number 53. What has the man been doing? Number 54. What does the man mean when he says, it's difficult to think he will? Number 55. What will the woman offer Mr. Martin? Questions 56 through 58 refer to the following conversation. Hello, I am calling to order goggles I saw in your catalog, the dustpan. Sure. We have many various models of the brand. So could you give me the item number? It should be placed below the photo. Wait a minute. Let me get the pamphlet and I will check. Yes, I found it. The number is DB500. Thank you very much. I see those are ones with yellow flame pattern. Is that right? Unluckily, they are out of stock now. But we have the one with the same design in blue. Well, I don't like those ones so much. I'll call back next month. Number 56. Why is the woman calling? Number 57. What information does the man ask? Number 58. What does the man recommend the woman to do?
Questions 59 through 61 refer to the following conversation with three speakers. I think it's time to get some new offices. We're running out of space. I heard the tenant next door is moving out soon. Me too. We could really use that room. Certainly. Let's talk to the boss of the company about it. She might already be considering it. Of course. Katie mentioned that she wanted to expand the company over the next few months. Emily, I think you should give her a call right now. Yes, I'll do that. Number 59. According to the woman, what will the company do soon? Number 60. Who will Katie most likely be? Number 61. What will the woman do next? Questions 62 through 64 refer to the following conversation. Hello, this is Ricky Baker. I have an interview with your company at 4 o'clock p.m., but unluckily, I think I'm on the wrong way. Can you help me out? That's too bad. Where are you now? I left the north exit of the train station and turned left. Then I walked about three blocks. I'm on the opposite side of the road to the blue department store now. There's a big green sign across me. Yes, I got it. I know where you are. You're actually very close to our company. You need to go around the department store and walk back towards the train station one block. Then you should see a little alleyway beside the department store. Go straight through it and turn left when you hit the red street. Once you walk about 50 meters, you'll be able to see a yellow building. We're on the third floor next to the accountant's office. Number 62. Why is the man calling? Number 63. Where is the woman's office? Number 64. Look at the graphic. Where is the man now? Go on to the next page. Questions 65 through 67 refer to the following conversation. Excuse me, I bought this jacket last Friday, but it wasn't discounted as it was supposed to. It's on sale, right? Can I see your receipt? Here it is. The item I bought is Lolaire's. Sure, I see. It's one of our sales promotions as shown in the advertisement. We're sorry, the discount wasn't reflected on your items. I really like this brand, and I'm happy as it's 20% off. Here's the balance. Sorry about that. Number 65. Where will the conversation most likely take place? Number 66. What does the man ask the woman to do? Number 67. Look at the graphic. What is the correct price of the item? Questions 68 through 70 refer to the following conversation. Reggie, we've just decided to have a reception for our new director, Mr. Friedman. Do you have a moment? Sure. What can I do for you? Can you reserve a banquet hall at one of the local hotels? Good. Are there any requirements? Maybe. There will be 63 people in attendance. So, can you book a big enough room for all of them? But we don't need the biggest one, as we have budget limitations. I'll get on it right away. Number 68. Who is Mr. Friedman? Number 69. What does the woman ask the man to do? Number 70. Look at the graphic. Where most likely will the woman choose?
Part 4. Directions. You will hear some talks given by a single speaker. You will be asked to answer three questions about what the speakers say in each talk. Select the best response to each question and mark the letter A, B, C, or D on your answer sheet. The talks will not be printed in your test book and will be spoken only one time. Questions 71 through 73 refer to the following news report. Worley Parsons Construction announced today that it would begin construction of a huge 500-room hotel near Boston Logan International Airport. The $20 million construction will be completed in six months from now. The hotel will employ approximately 200 people, including 100 maids and 30 valets. In addition to fine dining rooms, well-equipped fitness centers, outdoor and indoor pools, and first-class convention centers, it will house a state-of-the-art exhibition center. Number 71. What is the main purpose of this news report? Number 72. How many employees will work in the room services? Number 73. Which of the following is planned to be included in the new hotel? Questions 74 through 76 refer to the following announcement. Angels in Heaven Foundation is sponsoring a fundraising fair for needy families from nearby Livonia County. The fair will be held this week except Monday at our headquarters on Amhine Road. Angels in Heaven Foundation is a nonprofit organization that is driven by the needs of citizens in our state. Our work includes assistance to the uninsured and special populations, training new health professionals, introducing new financing methods into the healthcare arena, and sharing better ways to care for patients. There will be door prizes and plenty for all to enjoy. All proceeds will go towards assisting less fortunate families in Livonia County. Please stop by and contribute whatever you can. Number 74. What is the purpose for this event? Number 75. How long will the bazaar take place? Number 76. Who will benefit from the funds raised? Questions 77 through 79 refer to the following announcement. Welcome to the Museum of Sound and Light. This building dates back to 1900, when it was originally constructed as a foot gear plant. By 1950, the owner had closed the plant, and the government bought the building to open this museum. Today, the museum offers a historical look at how sound and light industries developed. We have some of the first phonographs ever built on display here. If you have some spare time, I recommend you sit in the auditorium and watch an old silent film. We share them continuously throughout the day. Number 77. According to the speaker, why was the building of the Museum of Sound and Light built at first? Number 78. What is on display now in this building? Number 79. What does the speaker advise the visitors to do? Questions 80 through 82 refer to the following advertisement. The most famous pop pianist Samuel Bowler will return to the metropolitan area this year to perform summer music from around the world. The concert will raise money for music programs in the Metropolitan School District. The concert will be held at the Deerfield Theater on 7 Boyden at 7 p.m. Saturday, August 31st. Advanced tickets are $45 for adults and $36 for students. Last year's concert sold out. If tickets are available at the door this year, they will be $50 for adults and $40 for students. Number 80. 
What instrument does Samuel Bowler play? Number 81. Who will the benefit from the concert be donated to? Number 82. When will the concert begin? Go on to the next page. Questions 83 through 85 refer to the following excerpt from a meeting. Thank you for your impressive presentation, Ms. Bianca. The promotional campaign you propose sounds great. It's true that the publicity we would get would be enormous. However, I am worried about the budget and time framework. As you know, we are on a very tight schedule and a budget of this size. If it is even feasible, it will take time to be approved. If we could, we would like to discuss this among ourselves right now. We'll get back to you tomorrow. Number 83. What kind of business will Ms. Bianca most likely do? Number 84. What is one of the speaker's chief concerns? Number 85. What will the speaker do next? Questions 86 through 88 refer to the following advertisement. Whatever you want. Before you plan your next adventure or head off to a business meeting, consider becoming a certified travel agent. You will receive huge travel discounts and commissions on all your travel. And you don't have to quit your job or change career plans. Train Tour Teaching can train and accredit people with no prior experience to become travel agents for the small fee of $3,000. The benefits of being a travel agent include up to 30% savings on hotel rooms, car rentals, cruises, and vacation packages, and a 3 versus 7 commission split with train tour teaching on all flights booked. How long does it take to become certified? Call us today and receive your travel agent startup kit tomorrow by express mail. Your official photo identification card and travel agency identification number will be valid as soon as you pass our travel agent certification test. We offer a two-month money-back guarantee. Call 215-542-9795. Number 86. What is a stated benefit of becoming a travel agent through train tour teaching? Number 87. How much does it cost to become a travel agent through train tour teaching? Number 88. How do the listeners become certified? Questions 89 through 91 refer to the following news report. Good morning, this is Harold Smith with your 10 o'clock business news. Today's first story is about Galaxy, a new car model that was launched on the market just two months ago. And it's already gone with the big success. Ms. Lily Newton, president of its manufacturer, Con Motors, says, We are so pleased that before just one quarter goes after Galaxy is on market, its sales have exceeded our initial anticipation by 200%. Galaxy has quickly become the best-seller model in the company's 30-year history. But the company is now facing difficulty in keeping up with sharply increased demand for the car. Galaxy is so popular that customers currently have to wait for an average of four weeks to purchase one. The company plans to solve the problem by discontinuing to produce its older and less popular models and using those factories' capacities to produce more Galaxy. Number 89. What is the topic of the news report? Number 90. What does the speaker imply when he says, and it's already gone with the big success?
Number 91. What problem does the speaker mention with Galaxy? Questions 92 through 94 refer to the following recorded message. Hello, Julia. This is Milton Condit, Marketing Manager. I'm going to hand down my opinion regarding your presentation this morning. All in all, I was quite impressed by your talk, which is easy to understand, using images and graphs very effectively. Oh, I missed the point. You have mentioned our company's history for about 10 minutes. However, in my opinion, there is no reason to go into detail about our history because the customers won't be interested in it. I think it will be better to stress the strength of our products so they can compare with our rival company's items. And I recommend you make revisions to your slides tonight and give them to me tomorrow morning. I should check them and help you if necessary. Good night and see you tomorrow. Number 92. Why is the speaker calling? Number 93. Why does the speaker say, I missed the point? Number 94. What does the speaker ask the listener to do tonight? Questions 95 through 97 refer to the following talk and list. Thank you for attending our Wednesday meeting. As you know, Ted Goldstein has left for our Tokyo branch to deal with the urgent problems, so he will not be able to make the presentation to our new client, Jessica Maywood, next Monday. Since that's only five days away, we need to find a replacement quickly. I think we have options. Harry Comier and Amy Veronica. Harry is familiar with treating clients, but Amy has the most important skills for Monday's presentation and works better under time pressure than Harry. So I think it would be the best that Amy give the presentation and Harry will support for the contents of slides. Number 95. What is the purpose of the talk? Number 96. What will Jessica Maywood do next Monday? Number 97. Look at the graphic. What is the recommended person good at? Questions 98 through 100 refer to the following advertisement and schedule list. Come to the annual Arts and Crafts Fair in Keywell Park this weekend to get great deals on beautiful items handmade by local artisans. You can buy kitchenware, clothes, paintings, sculptures, and all kinds of fancy gifts at very low prices. The whole park will be open on both Friday and Saturday from 10 a.m. to 8 p.m., but some vendors will be available only on one day. The list of shops and attractions for each day is listed below so make sure to schedule so that you don't miss out on what you want to obtain the most. Most of all, we recommend that you come to the charity campaign to support the local communities, which is held for just two days, donating 50% of all profits to local orphanages and nursing homes. Number 98. What is being advertised? Number 99. Why are the visitors asked to attend both Friday and Saturday? Number 100. Look at the graphic. When can the listeners purchase a kitchenware? This is the end of the listening test. Turn to Part 5 in your textbook. End of recording.